Hi there. This is the I sound, as in the words in, it, and with. It's a vowel sound and its technical name is the near close, near front, unrounded vowel. Remember that the key to pronunciation is physical and the name tells us about how the sound is made physically. In this case, your tongue is close to the top and the front of your mouth. Unrounded refers to your lips because they are stretched out as if you're smiling and not rounded. All vowels are made through the mouth and are voiced, so you need to vibrate your vocal cords to make the sound. It's similar to the E sound, but it's shorter. I, not E. To produce the sound, put your tongue close to the top and the front of your mouth, and then stretch out your lips and make a short I, so uh, short I sound with your mouth closed. I, I, I. The I sound is normally spelled with the letter I, as in the words this and give. But it can also be spelled with the letter E, as in the words become and because. Like with all vowels in English, the spelling can be very inconsistent, and you'll always find alternative and unusual spellings of the vowel sounds. It's one of the most difficult things in English, but you just have to learn it. Here are some words that start with the I sound. If, into, include, and enough. Here are some words that have the I sound in the middle. Which, his, think, and will. This symbol's not often used at the end of words because when, when words end with this sound, it's normally part of the diphthong oi or it's the extended vowel sound e. So that's it for the i sound. But we've made uh, additional videos on each of the groups of sounds, vowels, diphthongs, single consonants, and consonant pairs as well as a video explaining the overall phonetic chart. You, so, you can also click on any of the symbols behind me to see a similar video to this one with lots of examples and an explanation about how to pronounce that sound. We regularly post new videos, so if you like this video and want to continue improving your English, please click here to subscribe to our channel. At the English Club, we also offer live English classes via Skype or Google Hangouts. Visit our website to make a booking with me or one of our other teachers. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook.